Hello and welcome to Bunker Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series. And today, I'm looking over the meters page and the library page. So let's get right into it. First things first, uh, the meter page, you can bring it up from going to this right panel over here, and library is just down on the next row. So let's first look at the meters page and see what it's all about. So the meters page shows us all of the meters for the entire desk. Everything coming in and everything coming out. So first we've got a per channel. So we've got the input, that's the initial level, uh, the gain reduction from the gate and the gain reduction from the compressor. Uh, hopefully that all makes sense. You know, that's what it's doing. Then we've got our mix buses. You've got your 16 bus, the gain reduction from dynamics, the matrix, gain reduction, the main bus, gain reduction. Same for all of them. Then we've got our aux effects, so the sends, the returns, and the effects. So there's four effects, um, four aux returns. So that's the, that's the aux ins, aux outs. Then you've got an in out, so you've got inputs. So one to 32 up here. You've got the aux sends, the aux returns, all your outputs, your alternates, your monitor, your AES, everything there. I believe on the desk you have a few more inputs about how, a few more options about how you view this, not just as meters, you can view as an RTA, you can view, um, which is a RTA is a real time analyzer, as a, and sort of comes off just like a heat spectral analyzer, and that's really helpful. So there's lots of things, lots of different ways to view the meters in this, it's really good, but uh, that's about all there is to that. So let's get into the library page. So library page is can be very useful. It's not something I use a lot, but it's so handy to have when you do use it. So first, they've already they've pre-filled it with plenty of um, channel settings and things you can record. So you've got a name here, basically describing what it is, and then you can see some of what it does. So we've got the low cut, the EQ, that sort of thing. Uh, and there's, they've already filled it with you know, 76 options, whatever you want. There's lots of options there. You can just grab one of these and apply it to a channel. But even better part is you can make your own. So you can save and load and you can decide what you want to recall. You know, if you only want to recall the scribble strip, which is the nice LCD here, then there you go, you can record the scribble strip. Just for them. So you save the whole channel and then you decide what you want to recall. You can also delete things if that's what you want to do. Really helpful. This goes alongside the copy paste function, but it can be even better. Then there's another 54 effects uh, library to come all from. Really, really good stuff here. Great options for what you want to do then you can assign it to an effect slot. And again, you can go and record your own up to 100. And I, it's just so useful. If you really dial in like exactly what you want, boom, save it. You can recall it whenever you want. It's amazing. And you can also export it, throw it in USB, move it between desks, have it with you all the time. It's just so helpful. Then you've got routing. So here, so I've got, that's one I've made, you know, but what's here is sort of routing presets, so you can save and load up to 100 again, I'm sure, you know, uh, routing options. So this is just the back end routing. So typically this isn't changed with scenes, so you have to do special routing presets, but it is so useful if you need it. You know, you rock into a venue, you've got a great scene and you just load their routing onto your desk and boom, you're away. It's just instrumental. Such a useful tool to have the library. It's so helpful. Then you've got your AES 50. So again, library, save, load. No presets with this one. It only goes up to 12, but you know, it's just, it's so good. You really, you, you, you need it, you know. 
library is just instrumental and such a useful tool. Uh, I'll also briefly touch on the monitor section because it's pretty simple. A bunch of solo options about how your solo works. I won't go through all of them. A couple of good ones is that, you know, solo means you can only, exclusive means you can only have one thing soloed at once. Solo, follow, select. Pretty self explanatory. Select, follow, solo. Super useful. I'll throw that one on. Uh, you got After Fader Listen. You after fader listen options and you know, use master fader. So lots of good things there, lots of settings to play with. This is for your monitor. You got a delay. Uh, you can there's a dim button. Really helpful if you're not wearing headphones. Sometimes you can sort of hear it a little bit if the headphones are really loud. So I like to hit that dim button when I'm not wearing them, so there's not like a little bit of a weird of the same sound coming from the side. And then you can decide how much you want that attenuated by. You can put it in mono, a bit of trim, add some extra level, mute it, and you know, what source you want as your default source. Then you've got the talkback, really helpful. It's great to have two talkbacks. I typically run one going to all of the in-ears I have, so these mix buses don't, I don't have any in-ears on those buses, as we saw in routing last, in my last video. But, so I, I run talkback B, it's going to all of them, and I run talkback A, as I'll just go and select one, and talk to just them. The talkback level, talk A and B, they're both on hold to talk, which is a quick fix there, as to whether it latches or not, really helpful. You can determine if it goes to the mains or just the buses, auto talk to level, if you want external or not, you want to enable it. Uh, and then yeah, you just hit the button and those buttons are on the desk or over to the side as well on the right panel. And then the oscillator. Now this is very handy. So here you can decide if you want pink noise or white noise or a sine wave. Uh, the oscillator's level. If you want pink or a sine wave, you can determine a frequency. Uh, and you've got two options there, so you can jump between two if you want really helpful your generate button and where it's going you can only send it to one place at a time but it is again really helpful tool if you're not sure if something's working you can run an oscillator through it and you know instantly you know you can hear pink noise white noise or specific frequencies with the sine wave generator A really helpful tool okay I re really hope you enjoyed that video there's lots of content in that about a few of the simple things in the desk that can still be so helpful. Hope you learned lots about the, the metering and the library and the oscillator monitoring section, all of that goodness. So uh, let me down, know down in the comments if you have any more questions or definitely go down there, help someone out if they've got any questions. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading more of these videos, which will be every week. Go check out the playlist see all the old videos, make sure you're up to date and know all you can about this desk. Like and go do some audio.